Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Homemaker at Heart. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. A little while ago, I did a Dollar Tree haul video where I showed you some t-shirts that I purchased in youth sizes and adult sizes. I apologize for that interruption. My little one came flying into the room with a little minor emergency there. But I purchased some t-shirts from Dollar Tree. The youth sizes my son is wearing um, and those that are too big for him now, we've just put those in his closet for him to grow into. But they also had adult sizes, um, anywhere from large to 3X in various colors. Um, and so I had two options. I could alter those shirts that were too big for me down into a size that fit or I could turn them into t-shirt skirts and I decided for the latter. So I'm gonna show you very quickly how to turn an oversized t-shirt into a skirt. So you're gonna start with your t-shirt. Usually I work at my dining room table because it's a nice big flat surface and no one is ever in there, but I happen to be in my son's playroom today um, and the floor is, open so that I can lay out my t-shirt. So I'm gonna lay the t-shirt out flat on the floor and then I'm going to cut off the sleeves in such a way that I'm gonna cut on a diagonal so that I line up with the side seams of the shirt. Okay, so I've cut my shirt on a diagonal so you can see where I cut the diagonal line for the sleeves off and I also cut straight across under the collar of the shirt to make the waistline of the skirt. Okay, so I have cut um, the sleeves at a diagonal on both sides so the sleeves are removed and I also cut straight across the collar line to make the waistband for my skirt. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the whole thing inside out so that I'm working on the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm turning it inside out and if you are a pinner, this is the point where you are going to want to pin your two seams or your two sides together where you cut off the sleeve. You're gonna to wanna to send to pin, excuse me if I can speak, those together. Now you can definitely, if you do not have a sewing machine, these little side seams are, in my opinion, small enough that you could um, sew Hello. these by hand. So you're going to these together like I was saying in my opinion if you do not have a sewing machine this is um, short enough that you could definitely just sew this up by hand um, but if you're sewing on a machine so there's one side and um, if you're sewing on a machine, you are going to want to use a zigzag stitch. Um, it's easy to find on your sewing machine. It's the one that looks like a zigzag. Um, and what that's going to do is since this t-shirt is made out of a knit fabric, it has stretch to it. And that zigzag stitch is going to allow that knit fabric to stretch. Um, as it needs to. It's going to allow it to hang properly um, when you put it on versus a straight stitch. So just look for that little zigzag on your machine. Set your machine to that. If you are sewing by hand and you are sewing a straight stitch by hand, more than likely there's going to be enough space um, in between your stitches to allow the knit fabric to move as it needs to move. So you don't have to worry about sewing zigzag by hand. Okay. And I'm just gonna get this to line up. 
with the natural fold in the t-shirt and it's going to make the side of my skirt. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, there's my skirt and I'm going to sew down the side seams. Okay, so once I've sewn down the side seams, I am going to take the waistband, fold the waistband down, and I am going to sew all the way around the waistband using that same zigzag stitch. Okay, so once you have sewn the sides where you cut off the sleeves, and you have sewn around where you cut off the collar to make your waistline, your skirt is going to look something like this. Yes, this is a different color. I made three of these, a black one, a gray one, and this green color. Um, and I stopped them all in various stages so that I can show you on the video. So this green one is, um, Stitched here on the sides where the sleeves were cut, stitched across um, with the waistband. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my elastic around my waistband. So when you are stitching, I'm trying to find my little hole that I left for myself. You do not want to stitch all the way around. Here's my little hole. You don't want to stitch all the way around. You want to leave yourself about an inch of space um, that you do not close up because you are going to run your elastic through the waistband. I found that the easiest way to do this is to um, put a... Um, safety pin in the elastic and then run it through the waistline. So that is what I'm going to do at this point. And then I will come back and show you the finished skirt. Okay, so once you have run the elastic around the waistband, using your little paper clip or, um, safety pin, you're going to take that paper clip or safety pin out and you're going to sew your two ends of your elastic together. Once you've done that and you've sewn the two ends of the elastic together, then you're going to go back and you're going to close up your little hole where this is the third skirt. This is the one that's completely done. You're going to go back and you're going to close up your little hole in the waistline where you pulled the elastic through. And this will complete your skirt. You just have to even out the elastic on the waistline. And there is your skirt ready to go. You do not have to worry about hemming the bottom because the bottom of the t-shirt is already hemmed. It's done. And your side seams went right into the side seam of the shirt as it is. It probably didn't have a side seam, but you know, went right into um, the side of the shirt as it is. So now you have a cute little everyday skirt um, that's kind of watch and wear that you can pull out and wear whenever you need to. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. If you like the video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel, Homemaker at Heart. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope that your project turns out as well as mine did. Again, if you have comments or questions, please leave them below. I will respond to you. Um, and try to help you out if I can. Take care, and I will talk to you again very soon.